just got to drop it on there, haven't I? Where is it? This one. Oh, it's, gonna, it's not right on it, either. Fucking hell, look at that. Right, here we go. There's no word yet. It's 1982, in a flat in London, it's cold. I'm sitting on the floor writing, just writing stream of consciousness lyrics. And uh, this, this song I met with you comes out of that. We'd normally been um, more of a punk rock band, more edgy. So this was one of our first uh, forays into verse, chorus, verse, chorus. We didn't really understand that songwriting thing. That was brought to the table by the producer, Hugh Jones, who did the After the Snow album, where this song comes from. So he had a major influence on piecing all the music together. I wrote the words in probably two minutes, just literally two minutes. And it all came flowing out, which is normally how good songs happen. Not always. I like that line, trapped in a state of imaginary grace. Who knows what I was on at that point. It's always amazing to play this song live, uh, the reaction we get. It's incredible, it's really incredible. People go absolutely nuts for this song all over the world. The Philippines, America, here in Canada. It's uh, been taken to the hearts of people and I think it sort of glides. I think with the acoustic guitars, they just sort of, and the electric guitars, it kind of glides across the top of the track. And then you've got, um, you know, me doing the vocals. And I'd always been shouting on songs before. I'd never really sung on a song, and there's not really any singing on this either, it's more spoken. But Hugh Jones, the producer, said, don't, don't shout into the microphone, just talk into it. Because I'd never, I'd, I'd never done that before. I was a punk rocker. And um, so I did, I just uh, kind of stood back and mouthed the words. And I think that's a lot of the attraction of the verses on um, I Melt With You is that almost spoken quality. The video we made for it, which was uh, one of the biggest videos on MTV that year in America. Um, we, we did that for like a thousand Canadian pounds, you know, nothing. We carried all the stuff in ourselves and set it all up. It was, and it was one of the biggest ever videos on MTV around 82, 83, 84, which is when it came out. And this is an interesting bit. I mean, the idea of me humming on a song, would have, I never would have done anything like that. Again, that was the producer, Hugh Jones, uh, twist of my arm and getting me to do things that at the time I didn't like to do, but when I look back at it, it's amazing. hand claps and that drum part that's a massive part of the song as well and key, Steve's keyboard line it's a big chorus hook on it good song really here comes Elastic Band Fade there you have it, I'm out with you, modern English.